Conspiracy theorists all over the world, and especially the internet, seemed to know all of Disney's secrets. However they were conceived, rumors of secret heads or weird weather patterns surrounding the Disney parks have surfaced and gone viral. If you happen to be one of these conspiracy theorists, you'll be shocked to know how many of these myths are actually false. A few of them have some truth to them, but none of them are fully real. Welcome back to The Juicy, my name is Stuart, and today I'm counting down 7 Disney myths and secrets debunked. Before the video begins, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also click the bell to make sure you don't miss a single upload. Enjoy the video! Number 1. Sleeping Beauty Time There are multiple theories that suggest that the time on the chandelier clock inside of the Sleeping Beauty Castle in Disneyland is somehow significant to something. Since its installment in 1996, the clock has never worked, and some Disney theorists believe that the time left on the clock was maybe the time Disneyland opened, or even the time of the death of Walt Disney himself. However, the time has changed many times over the years, and official archives claim that no time it has been stopped on has any significance. Possibly at one point it might have, but there's no way to prove that. One user on a Disney forum in 2013 believed that it was set to the time 1221, as a nod to the date that Snow White and the Seven Dwarves premiered, December 21st, 1937. While Disneyland does have many hidden nods to special events or movies, this clock might not be one of them. Number 2. It's Always Sunny in Disney World This one is pretty ridiculous. Some theorists assume that it's often sunny and beautiful above Disney World in Orlando, Florida, apparently because of advanced technology that Disney secretly possesses before anyone else. The theory is that there is a large invisible dome over all of Disney World that allows the supposed operators to control the weather inside the resort. Imagine walking up to a cast member and asking, Hey, can you get them to turn off the thunderstorm? We have a fast pass for Splash Mountain. It's a pretty silly concept. No, Disney cannot control the weather as much as we wish they could pull off something that magical combined with all the already magical attractions they create. This rumor was definitely not started by someone who lives in Florida, since the humidity is unbelievably and uncomfortably high and not the most ideal conditions 24-7. While it's true that Walt Disney proposed an entire enclosed area of 60 to 75 acres, the idea died with the creative mind. So be sure to bring your poncho with you to Disney World, because there is a chance that the sun might get hidden behind some clouds due to some rain. Number 3. Disney World Never Closes Obviously a theme park has to have operating hours. Even though the Walt Disney World Resort operates year-round, it does have to close every night in order to let its employees recharge for the next day. Disney also rarely shuts down the resort when in the path of a dangerous hurricane. However, there are extra magic hours at Disney World, which allow guests to stay extra hours inside the park past closing hours, even though not all attractions are open during this time. Either way, as much as we wish that the magical park could stay open 24 hours a day and 7 days a week, it's just not possible. Number 4. Cinderella Castle can be disassembled. Speaking of hurricanes, what does Disney World even do with the castle when a hurricane comes? Florida's hurricane season extends through the prime summer months and on in Disney World, from June to the end of November. Surely it's not a stable structure built to resist winds and instead can be taken apart and packed away so it doesn't get ruined, right? At least, that's what this theory states. Conspirators believe that Imagineers take apart the enormous Cinderella castle whenever bad weather is coming the way of Disney World. But as much as that image of the Disney staff folding up the castle is pretty entertaining, the structural engineers for the building have expressed that the building code requires it to be able to withstand severe weather. The castle is built to withstand winds of up to 125 miles per hour. Sorry to disappoint, but the castle is a solid building that probably won't be moved for a very long time. Number 5. Walt's Frozen Head This is one of the most popular myths surrounding Walt Disney himself. Theorists think that Walt Disney's head was frozen after death in hopes that future technology would be able to resurrect him somehow. 
there are also two separate factions within this myth. Some that think the head is locked away in Disneyland Park, and some that think the head is buried underneath the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction in Disney World. Both would be utterly wrong. After his death in 1966, Walt Disney's certificate was publicly released, and he was cremated two days after it occurred. There was also a five-year difference between his death and the opening of Walt Disney World, so it's not likely that he'd be held in the resort. His burial site is located at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California. Hate to break it to you, Disney conspirators, but Walt is not looking likely to resurrect in any future. Number 6. Walt's Haunted Head But the frozen head theory is not the only Walt Disney head myth. Visitors of Haunted Mansion in Disney World can spot five busts in the graveyard scene that sing grim grinning ghosts as the buggies pass by. Some select writers see their broken bust in the scene as Walt Disney himself, even though Walt Disney died before the creation of Disney World. As cool as that would be, it is in fact not the founder of Disney, but is actually Thurl Ravenscroft, the man who voiced Tony the Tiger, as well as saying the well-known You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. The two look similar, so it's no wonder that some guests of the Disney World Resort would mistake them for one another. While that was never the intent, it would be pretty cool if Walt Disney himself was actually haunting a theme park in his name. Number 7. Andy's Coming You might have seen a viral video or meme that showed what has now become a popular myth surrounding certain Disney characters. If you were to shout, Andy's coming, in front of the Toy Story characters, they would drop to the ground and act lifeless, essentially putting an extra foot forward to keep their character alive. While this was a neat secret thing that would happen, a few people had to go and ruin the fun for everyone else. People posted videos and pictures of this occurring on their visits, and the concept went viral. Suddenly, tons of visitors to the park were shouting the phrase at the characters 50 times a day, so Disney had to end the practice as a safe measure. You wouldn't want your favorite character to twist their ankle or break something just trying to drop to the ground on cue. Before I end off the video, here's a few extra myths that might have some truth to them. Bonus myth number one. There's a basketball court inside Matterhorn at Disneyland. There's a popular myth going around the inside of the top of the Matterhorn in Disneyland houses an entire basketball court. The rumor is that Walt Disney put a basketball court inside the top of the Matterhorn in order to avoid laws restricting heights on structures unless they were sports arenas. Well, there is a basketball hoop, backboard, and floor markings inside of it. But Disney did not install it to try and get around any existing laws at the time of construction. And the size of the play area isn't really what you'd call a full-on court. The area was made into a recreational space by and for the cast members that will occasionally climb on the outside of the mountain as a way to further immerse the guests. While on break, they're able to shoot a few hoops if they want, but sadly the Matterhorn couldn't possibly be home to any type of small game, much less an official NBA one. Bonus myth number two. There's a city under Disney World. Depending on your definition of city, this is partly true. There is a vast system of tunnels underneath Disney World called the Utilidors. In order to keep the magic of the separate areas alive, cast members use these tunnels to get from one part of the park to another, so there aren't characters walking around where they shouldn't. Staff also use these tunnels to move things from place to place, as well as remove trash and other duties undetected. If you're able to, you can get a backstage tour of these tunnels to see where the magic happens. Bonus myth number three. There's a secret suite in Cinderella Castle. Originally for Walt Disney and his family, there were plans to create a suite in the Cinderella Castle, but fell through after Disney's death. The area was then used as a storage space for a long time, until it was turned into the dream suite and used, rarely, as a prize for contest winners. It's probably unlikely that you will ever stay there, but it definitely exists, and seems to be everything Walt hoped for it to be. Thanks for watching! If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Remember to click that bell so you don't miss a single upload, and comment down below your thoughts on this topic. 
Have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.